Can you guys hear me now? There's a blue light on the mic, so I'm hoping it's working. Oh, hell yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, first I just forgot to grab the mics, <laughs> so which is why you guys couldn't hear me. Um, sweet. Lindsay is finishing up with Winnie. I can't you hear. Um, but yeah, Lindsay is finishing up with Winnie, and then we're gonna go do more stuff. For Yonder's core, I carry a sleep cheered 300 bits. I recently just learned what the vocalizations of a puma sound like. Could you pass on the suggestion to Connor to see if they could do a podcast episode with the wildest vocalizations? I can definitely ask. I have no uh, ju jurisdiction. I don't know there, but I'll let them know that you're interested. Puma vocalizations. Cougars do make a ton of crazy noises. Oh, Ophelia, that's exciting. I hope it goes well. It is gonna go well. Oops, I'm just getting everything situated. Just came back from the pasture. So sometimes you just need like a minute to cool down. Got jump scared by this by Polly. Evo 509 just resubscribed for four months. Oh, hell yeah. Thanks for the resub. All right. Thank you guys for chilling. I'm gonna get some water. I'm gonna get a drink and get things ready. We haven't had banana for the marms for the past two days. And every time we go in there with little chunks of apple, they're like, what, what the fuck is this? Like, no, no, thank you. The underscore legion underscore 27 just resubscribed for three months. Hell yeah, thanks for the resub. Um, whoever sent these in, the like matcha green tea bags, do 10 out of 10. They're super good and Lindsay and I have been drinking them every day. But anyways, here's Polly and a bunch of her poop. How are you guys doing? Thank you guys for taking care of Polly. Apple is definitely harder to eat without teeth. Um, Momo does find a way. We also try to cut him into kind of longer pieces so that he has something to hold and put into his mouth while he uses his back teeth. Um, but definitely harder to eat, uh, eat than banana. That's awesome. The crows did good with the cube. I was a little worried that they weren't going to be able to pull the drawers out. But yeah, it seemed like they had um, no issues at all. And a lot of the little drawers had... Um, had rocks in it even like the top ones and so I don't know if they put those in there or they just happened to land in there when they were doing crazy things but it was cute oh yeah yeah thanks for whoever sent the cube it's fun two of the little drawers had um just raw eggs in them and they also seemed to enjoy that Yeah, you guys have trained Winnie <laughs> super well. She definitely has her like puppy, like puppy eyed like look into the camera down, down to perfection. Therese underscore XO just resubscribed for six months. Yeah. Less than three, my favorite steam. Thanks, Therese. Um, Chat has definitely trained Winnie to moo. <laughs> she's definitely, she's so vocal. I love it. I love vocal animals. I say that, but then my cat yells at like five in the morning <clears throat> and I change my mind then. Okay. 
can we hear it through the alveus ground? Um, I think so. Sometimes I'm not like specifically listening for it, and I'll hear like a faint, just like kind of groaning noise, and I just assume it's Winnie. Either that, or we have ghosts. Expectations for TwitchCon? Not really. I, I genuinely do not know what to expect. I'm super pumped to meet, I'm assuming, a ton of you guys. Um, but yeah, no, just excited to, excited for it all, excited to see what it's all about. Everyone else has made it sound very fun. Um, I know Kayla has said that it's really cool to be able to yeah, meet you guys, because obviously I don't have a face for you. You guys are just names on a screen. Um, so I think meeting you guys is going to make this seem a lot more real, if that makes sense. Which, again, I'm excited for. Will that part be streamed? It sounds like someone said this in a previous stream that... Um, that the panel, I think, will be streamed. I don't know if it's on the Alveus channel or a different one, but it sounds like it'll be on the internet somewhere. Oh, dude, I, like COVID's like going around and any, everything, can't, can't be getting sick. Definitely, definitely gonna stay, stay safe. Oh, awesome. I'm gonna be meeting, meeting you guys um, who are there in spirit too. Yeah, so Elle is coming back, um, and then we have some folks who are staying back, which is going to be super sad. Um, Amanda and Nick um, will be here, um, so them and Ella was will hold down the fort, which super, super bummed that they're not coming. I'm going to be sad about that the entire time, um, but it's part of the job, part of the field. Someone's got to do it, and then we'll switch next year. It's very nice of Ella. Ella was a staff member here, um, I think from like the beginning of Alveus, and she very recently uh, moved on, uh, but she'll be coming back to help out. But yeah, she just needed to focus on school and doing school and having a job is a lot. Ella is the ghost. Oh, go Ella. Cute. Um, but yeah, once Lindsay comes back, we'll, uh, we just finished everyone at the bottom. So the pasture, the parrots, the chickens, uh, and we'll go up. So we'll see um, wolf doggos, foxes, crows, and the marms. The little marmosets. Um, the new chicken has been um, called Betty, and I think that's sticking. So possibly Betty. Any doggy training today? Yeah. Um, just like the past couple days, it is a little windy. I don't think it's as windy as it was yesterday. Um, and timber especially is spooked by the wind. The deck makes um, noise, like creaking noises when there's wind. We're planning on putting, hopefully soon, down a couple of mats so it doesn't creak. Uh, but then the uh, trees too, when the branches and the leaves are making noise, it spooks them out. So we'll try to do training was the uh, moral of that story. And we'll see how far we get. Um, I don't know too much about what Timber's past enclosures have looked like before he came to Alveus, but generally for um, canines, and I'm assuming other animals as well, um, wind is spooky. I don't think I've met a dog where the wind hasn't spooked them even just a little bit. It just puts them more on edge. 
because it just mixes up how they're able to perceive what's around them and they rely heavily on their sense of smell and the wind mixes up all of those smells it brings in new smells from far away to where they are and it just makes it really hard for them to get a good understanding of their surroundings since they're just a little bit more on edge because they don't really know what to expect um, so I think it's just timber being a canine as well <laughs> Um, as far as I know, just the current ones for now, um, eventually I know we'll have um, Lindsay's um, saltwater tank, but other than that, I'm not too sure. Wind also spooks me too, dude. I get that. Oh yeah, and the noise. Um, it just makes a lot of noise that animals might not be expecting. Um, so the trees rustle, the leaves rustle, especially if it's fall, the leaves make a lot more noise. Um, leaves on the ground blowing in the wind is also, um, can be a trigger for some dogs, just makes them really anxious. Does Polly appreciate pets? Um, not really. I wish she did. Oh. Boop, my feather. Um, sometimes we'll kind of do light touches to desensitize them while like she's getting treats and everything um, but she's not like a super affectionate cuddly chicken or anything yeah so Reed kind of goes into high alert mode when it's windy and I'm yeah same thing especially for dogs or like canines that are already a little bit more nervous or anxious it just makes them it just puts that into like overdrive <laughs> the feathers are present. I do like feathers. All right, let's make sure that we have everything in our basket. Oop, coming up. Lots of chicken poop. Uh, we got crow enrichment. They're getting they're getting a little six pack because it's fall. It's pumpkin season now. Um, except they're just getting veggies and, and stuff. Uh, we got marm food, we got some egg for the fox boys, marm enrichment, crow food. Uh, we just have to cut up some banana. Lindsay's on her way back now, so we'll cut up the banana now. We try not to cut up the banana too, um, like too in advance so it doesn't get all brown and mushy because then the marms will not eat it. Uh, thank you for bearing with me while I shake you around a whole bunch. Hi, we're on stream. What? We're on stream. Okay, I can't make the thing stand. There we go, please don't fall. Um, Reed is more anxious probably because he is from the wild. He's not as accustomed to humans as Finn is. So everything we do is a little bit unpredictable to him. And yeah, that's true. Everything in the wild can eat you. <laughs> My old boss used to say, like, the dogs that are going to survive an apocalypse are not our friendly golden retrievers or anything like that. Those are the first ones to go. The dogs that are going to survive are all your, like, super scared, fearful, reactive dogs because they have survival in mind. So if we had an apocalypse, honestly, Reed might do pretty okay. We got three buildings up here that you'll probably see. So right now we're in the nut house, the nutrition house, where um, we hang out a lot. We make their diets. Um, we have rats and chins and chickens living in here. Um, the other, one of the other buildings is the studio. Um, so studio slash office. Maya does a lot of her like streams there. And then the third building um, is being converted into like a a staff area and office office area. It's going to be the new, the new office. Yeah, that's right. So the new office and the studio will just be a studio. Beep. 
Guys, tell me to not slouch if I'm slouching. I need an accountability buddy. Um, so I'm cutting up some banana for the marms because that's, that's all they want. <coughs> but also Lindsay's here now. Guys, say hi. Slouching is fine. <laughs> uh, no, Georgie will stay in the studio. All reptiles are staying over there. Yeah. Uh, sure, you can have a banana. It's a, it's a nice banana. It's like the perfect banana. I'd eat this banana. But, but just wee little pieces for the marms, because they're just wee little guys. That was your chance to take a banana if you wanted a banana chip. Sorry. Oh, here, I'm going to steal two of those patches. These are all full. Oh, never mind. Then I'm not going to steal two of those patches. These are all the ones from down. <laughs> the they're all the same color, but I thought they were these ones. Do you want a mic? I'll grab it. Cool. It's on the thing. No, no. I saw it. I'm just refusing to talk to them right now. Um, yeah, I'm a staff member with a lot of canine experience, so, I mean, mostly, uh, a lot with dog. Um, I'm a certified professional dog trainer, mostly worked with dogs that were either fearful or reactive, um, some had some sort of behavioral issues, but did work with, like, puppies and just, um, just fun training as well. Uh, but my previous facility, uh, I was a mammal curator and we had dingoes and coyotes. Um, are those only canines? Yeah, and then uh, wolf dogs. The wolf dogs technically weren't the facilities. They were the, oh, now they have a wolf dog, um, wolf dogs. But it's the owner's dogs um, that we would practice on. Uh, we had a cougar that we worked really closely with and to practice training for the Kruger, we would practice with the wolf dogs, but then after that I would, um, or I went on to just do canine training, which is fun. And then that facility I worked for had a couple of wolf dogs that came in through too, but those were unfortunately privately owned wolf dogs. Polly wants a mic, you guys would go deaf. I have an auto feeder for my cat so she also doesn't overdo her food. Oh, we about to get raided. Better stop slouching. Oh, we have a watermelon. I didn't see that. That's exciting. Uh, can I steal some water? Yeah. Oh, here. Did you just use this for... Yeah. It's just... Eight ounces. It's uh, cool. It's just... I told them that we really like the tea. Yep. 
What's up, everybody? We have done nothing on stream so far. You guys have just been chilling with us in the nut house. We're getting ready to head up. Oh, hell yeah, thanks for the reset. Uh, so we're getting ready to go do the wolf dogs, the foxes, the crows, the marms. More resubs? Oh, dang, guys. Oh, yeah, dang. For 30 months. Damn, you guys. Dude. 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 Oops. My bad, chat. Nothing happened. Greetings just resubscribed for six months. Hello, y'all. Sub. Everyone just resubbing. My bad. I fell. <laughs> Mystery 13 next just resubscribed for eight months. Hey. Thank you for the Thank job. you. Mansion 19 just resubscribed for four months. Dude, it's a resub and party. Thank you. Everybody resubscribe, please. Bonobo just gifted five subs. Whoa. Wow, thank you. Star Wolf just resubscribed for two months. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Woohoo. Pumpkin Panda donated fifty dollars to charity. Thank you. Oh, thank you. All right. Winnie's one foot looks so much better. Nice. Hell yeah. Sorry, I'm late, chat. I was trimming Winnie's feet because she was laying down and she was letting me get really into it. So I got really into it. Fuck yeah. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, there is a Polly next to Shruti. A little chicken. Little chicken. Should be on the ground. Yeah, when he got her nails done. It was a pedicure day. Yeah, Nate the Hoof guy on TikTok is very satisfying to watch and also educational. Hoof care is unpredictable because it's easiest when Winnie is laying down, but sometimes she gets really excited and just pops back up. But so Lindsay takes advantage of all the times that Winnie stays laying down. It's, Grace just it's much more positive when she's laying down months. than me trying to hold her foot up and trim it because then it takes a second human to do it and just it's easier to have one months. human do when he's feet and then the other human distract silly. everybody else yeah <laughs> <laughs> everyone just gets in the way hell yeah it's live grace and pure kachu thanks for the resubs well thanks it's, it's a tea break there it is again stand up straight or shooty can't stop sergeant or All right, whenever we want to go up, though, I think we're ready. Ooh, so we got a whole goose donated a while ago, and we, it was, it's been frozen, but pulled it yesterday. Lindsay pulled it yesterday, so we Need can give it to the it. wolves and the foxes today, I'm mostly gonna, to the wolves. I gotta hack it up. So we'll be doing that. We'll do Feel that. free to watch. Feel free to not watch. We'll do that. The foxes after the will be marms. happy. We'll huh? Do, we'll do that after the marms. Yeah. Gonna take me at least five minutes to hack it up. <laughs> yeah, all right. If you're watching, everyone sit up a little bit straighter, chat. Correct your posture. They, they will eat good today. Akuji, yeah. thanks for the resub. I hope they like it. They don't like chicken, so <laughs> hopefully they like goose. <laughs> yeah. I'm convinced I'm just saying everybody's name wrong. But I'm trying my best, I promise. It's fine. Definitely gonna make another top of this before I go home. Um, do we have butchery okay. skills? I don't have butchery skills. I 
I have we'll hacking. cut things apart. Yeah, I have hacking skills. <laughs> we I got have hacking big knives. Skills. Working with carnivores for many, many years, you learn how to cut up dead things to feed them. And I have done that for 10 years now. <laughs> it's like I can cut apart animals. I can, yep. I can turn my feelings off, but I wouldn't say that's like butchery skills. No. I mean, I know some parts of the animal, but not much. I know what are the good parts that they will eat <laughs> versus not. <laughs> One time we had this person at the previous place that I worked at um, want to donate 12 um, deer. They had a deer farm that they were, didn't really want anymore. And they were like, do you want it? And we were like, yeah. Uh, we even like got um, two new freezers and everything. And the arrangement was that they were going to get them processed. Um, so a butcher was going to butcher them and get all the meat that we wanted, um, plus like some organs kind of nicely packaged. And it was like taking a really long time. It was like 11 p.m. And they finally roll up and me and my coworker were there. And, and which like, we weren't like angry or anything, like things take a while. And they like open the back of this big truck and it's just 12 deer cut in half. Oh. And I was like, mm. They just gutted it. <laughs> oh, they, yeah, they didn't do anything. They literally had 12 deer and they cut them in half. Um, yep. So did some, yeah, that was fun. That was a fun night. Came home looking like a oh, serial wow. killer. <laughs> That was in Alaska because um, they would bring us all the roadkill in Alaska to feed the bears. Ooh, yeah. And like anything that was found poached would come to us to feed the bears. So we'd also get a bunch of like people's donations of like their salmon and stuff. So we'd get like king salmon that's like this long, weighs like 50 pounds. But we would also get moose <laughs> brought to Yuck. us. <laughs> there was one day they brought us a roadkill female moose, and she was frigo. Mm -hmm. And the bears loved it. I bet they did. We did not, because half of it was starting to go bad. Yeah. So we had to be like, this is oat on the green side. No. This is quite moose head. Wait, no shit ton. You wouldn't think so. So you have to throw it over a 12 foot fence to a bear and the bear takes it off like it's nothing. And you're just like this, that I barely made it over the fence in the back of a truck. And you're just like, this is fine. This okay. is nothing. Yep. And you're just like, Jesus. Okay. Well, I'm glad you're happy. <laughs> I love those bears. People are like, we have mixed feelings. That's understandable. <laughs> um, you get good at dissociating sometimes in this field for the sake of the animal that you are caring for that's in front of you. Because um, yeah. unfortunately, they're all, a lot of them are either omnivores or carnivores and gotta feed them. Yep, sad but nice at the same time. Like I said, you get good at dissociating. Very understandable to have mixed feelings. Alvea's Halloween is a hacking event. Oh Lord. Have we tried to make clean meat? I don't know what that is. What? Clean meat. What is clean meat? I don't know, but I'm going to Google it. Unless you guys want to tell us. You guys are here. Oh, lab meat. Ooh, I don't know. I don't think so. Not as far as I know. Oh. No. I did have... Um... They were chicken tenders, but they were made out of chickpeas. I ate a lot of fake meat. Last but night, and they were delicious. <laughs> I think there is plant-based meat, and I don't know if you're talking about if lab-grown meat is the same thing as clean meat. Um, I think, yeah, lab meat is like real meat, that they just grow certain sections, like that cut of meat. I'm sure, is that what you mean by clean meat? No, yeah, no organs, bones, fur, mainly for lab rehab. Meat. Wait, what? Gross lab meat that is based in self-replicate image. 
Imagine cancer. Uh, yeah, okay, that's what I thought. They just, yeah. They have figured out how to just grow that slab of meat. Science is wild. Science is a wild. Um, all right, I think it's already like three o'clock. It's past three o'clock if you want to start heading up. Yeah, so that way you don't have a bunch to do later. Man. Yeah. Freaking Betty's probably gonna make me clean her two more times before I leave again. Yeah. She, she messy, chat. She messy. Do they know Betty? They did, because Amanda and I were streaming and we were just here by ourselves one day and we were like, do we, do we show them, do we show them? But she was just sitting right here, so I was like, all right, it's like, <laughs> she's right there. So we did. Okay. And they were though, fine with that. So yeah, they know about the new chicken. Okay. Um, they asked today if we had a name for her, and I told them she's been called Betty, and Betty has been sticking. Yeah, we've been calling her Betty. She's a little, she, she, she's gray, so we call her Betty White. <laughs> and I was like, the next chicken we get should be named Blanche. <laughs> Someone Go was suggesting all, like, the characters of, um, like, the Archie comic, all comics, like Veronica and Archie. And... Oh, yeah. Okay, Jughead would be such a cute name for her. A chicken. No more roosters, but that's the rooster. That whenever we get rid of Oliver, we'll get Jughead. There you go. Um. Okay. I'm making moves. Um. I know you guys are asking questions about clean meat. Honestly, I don't know that much about that or lab-grown meat, so I'm gonna do some research. Yeah, I have no idea. Grab the bananas that we cut from the farm. Excuse me, Polly. And she's like, nah, I'm good. Boop. All right. Oh, and then the meat pouches are down here too. Boop. No, I'm out of tea. I gotta make more. Uh-oh. I gotta make more tea when we get back. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> you guys are all funny. Um, okay, yeah, we're going. Joke's on you. Okay. The chickens don't get a cam. <laughs> all right, to the ground. Oh, just kidding. There's no car over here. <laughs> just kidding. Just a up. UTV. Andiamo. That is actually my friend's um, Instagram handle, Andiamo Adventures. I think that's what that was supposed to mean. Yeah, yeah, no, that's right. That is her. That's one of her, it's her Instagram handle because she is a travel person. I went to the Maldives with her. She's a very nice lady. I, know how nice to say it. I always forget what it is until I see it and I'm like, oh, hey, I know that word. get seen and whatnot before we integrate her in with any of the other chickens like they all get so uh, maybe our vet will be able to tell us what she is when the time comes until then she'd be gray she are a gray chicken you already unlocked this I see so I'm still reading up Clean, clean me, just cleaning up all like the uh, fur and bones and anything that's not like super digestible is what they meant. Gotcha. I heard a noise. 
Right, chat, who do you want to go see? I can. No! It broke. No. Sad, sad day. It's so unfortunate. My pouch just broke, chat. Okay. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get a new one. Well, okay. no, actually. I'll just. Just use my keys. I only get it for them. So instead of going to getting them, getting yeah. one, I'll just use it for. But she used my carabiner for my keys for the time being. Improvise! Impro provision. Oh, I put that on backwards. <laughs> we hear you. We're coming. Improvision. We're coming. We're coming. There we go. I don't know if we have a good stock of those, these I pouches. I think we have a couple. Milk. But we'll double check before. You oh, guys we have more. We 20 have. million. Okay, don't send more. We have more. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> we have more. Don't worry about it. Who are we seeing? Did they decide? Oh, I didn't see anything. Okay, not anywhere. <laughs> Thanks, Pierre. Could you? Uh, there is no dress code, which I know I don't wear a staff shirt. Um, the only ones I have so far are the long sleeve ones, and in the sun, I feel so suffocated in like long sleeves or pants and stuff. Uh, which I'm glad that there's no dress code because I also like having the freedom um, to dress how I want. You're not sending any more pouches. Stop it. Not real staff. Yes, she is. They are real staff. Um, temp has gone down a little bit, which is nice. All right, I'm gonna go see Appa. Um, I'm still getting to know him. Do you mind taking them to see Momo? You don't get a choice anymore. Go. Do you I want like, anything? Nah, I'm leaving my mic out here though. So I'm not listening. Hi, Momo. Um, oh, his. Can you hand me his station behind you? What's he doing? There's a momo. There's a momo. Ready. Okay, it's ready. 392. Good job. Banana. Can we station? Station. Grandma Good. underscore just resubscribed for 10 months. Yay. Thank you for the sub. <laughs> Watch Momo be amazing on his station. Can we station? Good. Can we stand? Getting it. Can we touch? Good. Where are you going? Can we touch? Good. You got it? Good job. Sure. Touch. Good. 
So we're getting him used to the touching. Uh, so for vet visits, he can have a physical done. You stole that. Can you touch? Good. So he can have the stethoscope come up and touch his belly and his chest. So he can get used to it without having to become a little burrito. And when, when he does this, redirect. Target. Good. Good job. Can we scan? Can we come out on our station? This Momo is very full motivated. We do it by letting him see the food. So as he, we work on the behavior, he is getting immediately rewarded. Oh, 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 what just happened? <laughs> Why did we climb over it? <laughs> Touch. And then I hold it there for a little bit so he can get used to the feeling and like register it. That way it's not just a complete distraction. Can we stand? Good. Just letting him get used to everything. Can we stand? Where are you going? Come this way. Touch. Good. And then as he gets the food, he'll also lean into the touch a little bit more. So he'll put a little bit more pressure on it, willing, like, by himself. Oh. Can we stand? Touch. Good job. Well done. Well done, you ate it all. Oh. <gasps> I, I, I am a liar. I found another piece. I thought we were done, and we were not. All right, all done. I think I'll just spoil if he like did not want the banana either. Oh my goodness. He had like two pieces and I'm like, I'll give him some and you just like spit it on the ground and just completely ignore it. Oh all the other goodness. pieces, so. Oh my goodness. It's either gum or nothing. You can't have gum all the time. Gum. Yeah, I was reading you guys some of your questions. So the treats that you saw Momo was getting were little um, chunks of banana, um, which they both um, pretty regularly get. Appa's been a little bit more um, picky lately. He's been getting a lot of like gum arabic, but like liquefied. Um, and he loves it. And now he's like, mm, nope, banana, no thank you. Um, I saw what do their little hands feel like. Um, honestly, they just feel like tiny, tiny person hands. Really, Momo? Uh, Marms are our first animal today. You guys hang out with those in um, the nut house for a little bit. Can I shut the door, sir? As we just kind of cool down from <laughs> the pasture and... Can we shut the door now? I've um, got things ready for up here. I'm getting their enrichment ready. We can kind of chill and watch them with their enrichment for, for a bit. That's really talking. <laughs> what? They're like, who's talking? <laughs> it's me. Sir, can we get off the door? Whee! Off the door. Thank you. Oh, the first stream ever. Hell yeah, welcome. Oh, welcome. We just finished um, training some arms, which I'm, I'm guessing, hoping you saw. Uh, but we're getting their enrichment ready, so we try to give all of our in animals enrichment every single day. That's anything that keeps them physically, mentally um, stimulated. Hi, These guys don't have the same challenges as their wild counterparts face like they're not looking for their food they're not having to worry about survival or anything like that 
uh, but we still want their minds to be sharp, yeah. engaged, um, not bored. You can deal with a lot of can we help you? Um, unwanted, unhealthy behaviors if they're bored. You're a lot right. Um, or physical you can stop. Um, problems, and we don't want that. So we try to do something every day where they have to like work for their food or train for it or something, so that way they're staying, staying smart. Right, buddy? They smart kiddos. We got eyes smart in. I see you. You get it, Momo. Do you want to try to get this one? Oh no, why'd you drop it? Did you get it? What's in there? Oh, you guys aren't even watching. Here. Excuse me. You're okay. Mom, what's this? So my thought was this behind this was that they had to like lift it to get the treats inside. Said, oh, that's just swinging around. That's so cool, Apple 1822. That's so fucking cool. My cat is also a hooligan nuclear snake. It's okay. Um, does every staff member have a specialty? Um, a little bit. A lot of um, a lot of us have, or not uh, not me. A lot of the staff have a lot of bird experience. I come in with canine experience. Um, Amanda has a lot of hoofstock experience, and so we all complement each other really well, which is super nice because that is what being a team is all about. The their TV is so cute. I just wanted them to sleep in it, which they didn't do that, but that's okay. Oh, Appa, you don't have to steal his, dude. Let's get a cuter angle. Appa's like, back away. Momo, those different ones you can go to. Oh my goodness, when they hold their food and eat it, it's so cute. Yeah, their little fist. What you eat, buddy? Mama, can you come over here? Look. This. Tangle that one. I gotta go inside to see what's happening in there. Sagui is good to know. Um, Stompy is the only emu here. So technically, yeah, he's our first. Appa, are you so cute? He said, yeah, I'm cute. Well, the first animal I worked with, um, my career started as a volunteer when I was just a wee teenager. Um, I was mostly working with a lot of like small 
mammals and birds and reptiles um, and goats. <laughs> All right, this enrichment wasn't very hard, but it's still cute. So yeah, just kind of a variety of, of small, small things. Oh, we're getting an emu puppet? Someone sent us an emu puppet. I saw. Oh, okay, bye. Okay, well. We've been abandoned, so we're gonna go. <laughs> no, I'm good. Oops, sorry. All right, so that is the Marns. I'm gonna lock everything up. That door's locked. This door's Sweet. locked. It's already wet. I got that wet already. Awesome. Ah, unless we want to grab them a mouse. Sure. Yeah. We can either go there first um, or we can... What time is it? Because I do want to see the wolf dogs today. I'll give them time with their goose. I have no idea what time it is. 328. Sweet. Right, this is got locked. half hour. Let's just go wolf dogs. And if we get to them, if we get to them. If not, they still get their food. Abbott says hi, everybody. Ah. Ah. Abbott must be center of attention. <laughs> Always. Isn't that right, Abbott? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I'm wearing this like a cast, but I am. <laughs> <laughs> it's wrist support. All right, accountability, buddy. Everybody stop slouching, including me. But also it's a free world. Slouch if you want to. Let's go see where they are. Hello. Hi guys. Puppies. We got a surprise for you. I gotta go hack it up. I don't know if y'all are gonna wanna see this. This down. So all of our animals are in enclosures. And that oh, ah, ah, ah. this thing is like partially thawed, which is great. Oh, they were asking why they were in a while they were where they are. I'm not gonna say in a cage because that's not what they're in. How do I open this? Let's see how to open this. But they are in enclosures. That's technically called a mew. And they're in there because they are non releasable animals. All of our animals that we have here are non releasable. And that's just from various different reasons, obviously, like. Our cow, like the cow and the donks, and those are domestic animals, so they uh, have always been here. Uh, all of our parrots were somebody's pets beforehand. Uh, the marmosets were also pets beforehand. Uh, Abbott in Coconut uh, came from a rehab center. Coconut actually has, uh, he broke his leg and it fused wrong when it came in. Ow. <laughs> I'm gonna fill up the water. Go for it. So he can't be released because of his leg. He can't be like 
he could be released, but uh, he'll actually live a longer life kind of here in human care than he would out in the wild. Just because it's easy, like we don't, it's easier for him to not have to worry about where his next meal is coming from when we're here. Uh, the wolf dogs have come inside enough to look around while we've actively been. It's not bird prison. No one, ha no one is in bird prison. If anything, they would. He probably honestly would not survive very long out in the wild. None of our animals that we have here would survive very long out in the wild because most of them don't know how to survive out there based on prior experience. A lot of this also isn't their native area, like the marmosets are not found in Texas. Officially just resubscribed for five months. Thank you. This is gross. I'm trying to figure out how to hack up this gate for them. How in the world did they do that? Why can't I just cut that? I don't know what part of the what part that is. All right, guys, it's gonna get a little loud. Cause you're gonna be hearing some whacks. Actually, I'm gonna do it on the ground. Go into the ground. That way it's not as loud. Next one. Wait, what can you see? Okay, you can't see me. Okay, good. Ready, set. Uh, the keel bone. Dark me. I didn't know that. That's cool. Oh, there we go. That was a good cut. That was a good cut. Hell yeah. I moved it to the ground thinking it'd be, I'd have to like hack it. So far, it's been semi easy. I say that. Someone asked if how the marms cope with the climate. Did you talk about that already? Not yet. Uh, okay. They have their, their inside is climate controlled. Momo gets a little cold. He get he starts to shiver more. Go to me. A little faster than Appa does. But he's also a year older than Appa. So he, 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 he little man. But we will, if it gets too cold at night, we will shut their little doors and lock them inside. That way it is warmer all around for them. And then in the morning, we will let, we let them out. But half the time they choose not to go outside anyway. They're like, it's cold, I'm good, thank you. Thank you, next. Uh, we didn't move the crate inside. The wolf dogs have two crates, so there's one in here and then one outside. Ideally, we wanted to do crate training in here because it was more temperature controlled, but um, plans sometimes don't work out. And they said inside it be. is scary. Jesus. This is a... There it goes. Good gibberish in chat. That is still all I see, so maybe I also need to download the, the other one. Got it. How cold does it tend to get here in winter? Uh, it depends. 
Last winter, it got down into uh, the 20s and teens at night, a couple nights. Uh, back in 22, we got a shit ton of ice and snow. Uh, so it just depends. Ooh, got some good bits. All right, got it mostly opened. That keel bone was a bitch. Got the glasses off so they don't fall into the goose. Is there any danger of chat overfeeding Winnie? No, um, the pellets that you guys give her are just hay pellets, so it's the hay that she's already getting just in pellet form. Um, They're great. So she can so, have yeah. as much of that as she wants. She is made to eat 24 seven, so all good things. She's still growing too, so. She a growing lady. She can have as much as you are willing to give her, but please don't give her too much. Thanks for asking though. Thank you. Some wild ASMR right now. What is it? They're talking about the, the crunching. Oh, <laughs> they're yeah. calling it. They're talking about the ASMR of it. Uh, do you know what brand of feed is in the feeder? The hay pellets? Um, no. There's Timothy in there. I know the bag literally just says Timothy. Timothy pellets with a horse on it. Um, and there's also a scoop of the senior grain in there as well. Also, unsure. We get we just get it at tractor supply. And I'm like looking it up right now. I am unsure of the brand. It's just whatever is available at tractor supply when we need to go pick up more. It's so funny that she does like it a lot because, again, it is literally just the hay that is around everywhere in a pellet. Oh, that was a good cut, and then I got stuck. Got it. Do you have a guess on why Winnie likes the pellets so much? The hay pellets? She probably thinks it's something else. <laughs> she could. Um, I know a lot of times animals also just like the, feel, the feeling of something specific in their mouth. Um, maybe it's something about the feeling that she likes, the pellets. She probably thinks she's getting some of the senior. I try to give her some of the senior all the time and she's like, hmm. She's weird. She is weird. Animals are weird. Their mind is an enigma. I'm pulling all the fat pieces out of it if I can, because gross. I don't know how much of this I'm gonna be able to like break off for the foxes. That's okay, I'm not gonna lie. I imagine just a whole ass goose feathers and all. <laughs> Which is a funny thing to just <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> got it. <laughs> oh, I was close. I got a little bit more. <laughs> Who hasn't looked at aquarium gravel and went, hmm, there used to be a candy that looks exactly like aquarium gravel and I can't, I can't think of what it's called or where I've seen it, but I just, it exists out there somewhere. Got it. Half and half. Mm, some, mm, mm. some good bits. These are the little like oversights that uh, a lot of the eagles loved. Okay. Like I could get Abe to do literally just about anything. This was such a high value ring. Interesting. For him. Like, it I, looks. I don't know why they just love them. <laughs> It looks disgusting. <laughs> I'm gonna save it for a crust. 
All right, we got. Uh, I think it's the chocolate rocks that I'm thinking of, but I don't know. Um, there is definitely a possibility that the wolves look at this and they're like, no. <laughs> what are you even thinking? Like, no. Um, you guys have a code for that, right? Code Veronica? This might be a Code Veronica situation. What is it? They were talking about if like the wolves look at the goose and they're just like, nah. Ugh. Just setting expectations reasonably. Yeah. There's yeah, the it's the chocolate it. rocks candy. And go, ew. It looks like that. All right, so. And it's chocolate. Isn't that crazy? I got most of it. I'm just thinking a lot of like fatty bits in it. This is technically all fat right here. Got some fat right here as well, but that's all right. Oh, smiley O'Day. O'Day? Zero O'Day? I hope it goes well on Thursday. Gotta be smiling after that. Smiling zero days, smiling every day. Is something happening? Someone's getting a root canal. Oh, I've been there. Any words of wisdom, encouragement? I got it when I was eight years old, so. Okay. <laughs> and Lindsay is here doing great and well today, so. I'm just cutting shit off. Granny gum jobs, I agree with you. Honestly, yeah, just like the exclusivity of the feed can, like you said, make it super exciting. Yeah, I trained dogs that loved carrots and broccoli, and that's what they would train for, which is crazy, because like I wouldn't consider that like a high value treat. Good night, nurse. Hope you sleep well. Bye. You're missing out on a good part, but sleep is important. Self-control, good job. Oh, it's just, it's just a lot of fat back here. We got butt fat. A lot of butt fat that they don't need. Doggos don't need. The donkeys were so funny today. Usually Jalapeno is timid about me touching his ear, but since Serrano was there, um, he was completely fine with it. <laughs> he wanted the bits. Sounds about right. And I had to play, I had to be the great wall of Lindsay. So Ace wouldn't push Winnie off of her grain because I wanted her to get rewarded for letting me do her feet. Mm -hmm. Did he come over there? He would not leave her alone. Like as soon as he Ace? heard. Yes. As soon as oh, he after I left. Okay, after I was like, left. wait, he was over there the entire time. I see. No, I, because she stood up mm -hmm. and I was like, thank you for letting me do your feet. Let's go get some grain. Good night, Pikachu. And uh, when I was getting it ready, he like ran up there because he was like, I hear the grain buckets. I see. Mm. And I was like, dude, you literally already got some. You don't need more. You are fine. Eat the hay. And he's like, if she gets it, it's mine. And she's like, whatever is available is mine. And I was like, dude, no. She earned this. Mr. You already Wask. got some. You fine. All right, I don't know if we want to weigh this. We can, because this this half is ready. <laughs> I'm just trying to cut off some of the fat. Oop. And cut out its. Go with the counter. Cool. It's cloaca. Because it's got some. Poop One, in two, it. three, seven. Mm. I'll leave it on there. Okay. Our bucket's good to go. I'm going to get our kibble. 
Oh. They got 290 grams of kibble. Gonna be eating well tonight. So in here is 250-250 or 250 total? Uh, 250-250. Cool. So split them up. If we even want to do that with this. Um, I'd like to do a little bit with timber at least, just because right. I feel like we're getting, we're getting somewhere. All right, I probably wouldn't give them all of it. A what? Guys, do you see Awa? They said, Lindsay, do you need a bandsaw to cut the frozen meat? If you promise to be careful. What? Here, we'll put chat on the window, so if they come back, you can and see. And I'm done. It's all hacked Sweet. up. Boop. The wolf dogs just keep kept just peeking through. I just to cut it in half. I just needed to get it in half for them. Uh, would you be so kind to yeah, take, um, no, take 50 grams for this evening? Yes. Yes. Uh, so 100 grams total. Yeah. 50 50. Please. For sure. Got snacks. Yeah, are we giving them just the half or are we doing the whole thing? Um, well, if we're doing a half, I'd cut that in half. Well, that's what but I'm asking. Like, I see. Do we want to give them the whole thing or do we just want to give them half? Oh, okay. I can't give them the whole thing. I just reduce how much they get tomorrow. Unless you want to cut them into quarters and then give the foxes some too. I mean, I can. It just depends on, because if we give them this, I wouldn't give them that. I said, then we can cut it in half. I want to go spend a little bit of time with Timmy. Yeah. Which, if at any point you want to tap out, let me know. I'm just trying to get shit out of, like, clean it up a little bit. The inside does look so good. evening. Thank you. I just need enough to give them their meds. Drugs. Thank you for the sub. Hell yeah, juicy fruit. All right, Kiel, come on. Yeah, nuclear snake, yeah, definitely like our domestic dogs have a strong prey drive too. One thing about more like wild canids and even like mixed 
um, canids like the wolf dogs, they can, those instincts are a lot stronger. Um, so not only are they efficient at getting the prey, um, they're more likely to kind of go into that prey mode a lot easier and a lot quicker um, than our dogs at home. Hell yeah. Yeah, so it was still on meds twice a day. Will be probably the rest of her life. Yeah, unless we can get her to do a, um, a vaccine once a month, which I think we can get there. Yeah, it was a ruthless hunter. She gotta get it for her arthritis because they're getting old like me and you. Carrier dogs are so fun to watch. Come on, vertebrae. Crack a nap. You can do it. You're so easy on the other guy. Awa has been incredibly good with taking her meds. She, it's, yeah, not even like a little bit of a struggle. Which is nice. I'm hoping her therapeutic splish splash helps. I'm sure water feels feels good on her bones, especially on a warm day. Yeah, she hasn't been limping in in a very long time. Can't remember the last time I saw her limp. Good. Got it. Got it. Get off me. That's gross. Bye, pickle. See you next time. Guess what? For 2.30 Keeper Chat tomorrow, guess who you guys get? Me and Lindsay, again, because we're the only ones who are going to be here tomorrow. So if there's anything specific you guys want to see, tell us now so we can plan for it. Within reason, there's only two of us here tomorrow, which also means the work not split between four people, but two people. So two people days are busy days, but if it's something doable, we'll try to do it. One V one with Stumpy. Backflips, mm -hmm. we'll see. Will you do a backflip for them tomorrow, Lindsay? No. Lindsay said no, sorry guys. I haven't done a backflip in 10 years. I have never done a backflip. That's cool that you could do one. Used to, my nickname in high school used to be Super Tuck. <laughs> you did try, Jimmy Dean. Got it. Um, parrots is definitely very doable. Wolf crate training. Um, I'm going to see what time it is. We have... We have a little bit of meat. We'll see how comfortable Timber is feeling today. If it's not too windy or anything. Because yesterday he was a little too, too nervous to come out from underneath his little safe area. It was very windy. All right. Can you open that? Uh, meatballs, please. Uh, meatballs, they get in the evening. If you tune in around 6.30 p.m., our time, central time, um, you'll see them get their meatballs. The so very last Patty thing Tico yeah. we can do, I'll work on my needs tonight at home. Okay. Um, release all the animals, maybe a different week. Um, chilling with Georgie, we can chill with Georgie. Goose was very slimy. Slimy goose. All right, I'm gonna take your board. Go for it. Um, I'm gonna leave it here for now since we'll have other things to wash when we come back. So tasty. 
<laughs> reptile stream. You guys are gonna get a long reptile stream when we move the reptiles over into their new enclosures, which is gonna be super fucking exciting. I am pumped. Pumped, pumped, pumped. You can rinse it off of me really fast. What was that? Oh yeah, for sure. I'm gonna do some math. 6.18, I mean, they're not gonna eat all. All right. 200. Okay. <laughs> I got their kibble, I got their meat. You're gonna, not gonna lie, you're gonna be shaking around a little bit. We're gonna have to carry some things and I'm not gonna take two trips. Sometimes you're a silly goose, sometimes you're a slimy goose. True words. Coral tank reveal when? In the future. Just gotta get here first. Um, it was Ava that did um, a couple of rounds of tug of war. Um, I can try with her tomorrow morning again. I can grab the water. If you, oh sweet, awesome. Um, if you tune in, um, is that like 7.45 I can try again with her tomorrow? 7.45 a.m. But again, no promises. Sometimes she does, sometimes she doesn't. But she's a little bit more amped in the morning. Yeah, we can see Push Pop tomorrow. We're coming, we're coming. Sorry guys, I could be giving you guys a better, a better view. It's a timber. And it was <laughs> pop. Oh no, she spooked herself. Oh no. What happened? The tug of war was through the fence, correct? Um, I might try to put this over here. You're gonna be in the sun, but it's not that hot. And only for a little bit, and then hopefully you guys can see both Timber and Awa training. Alright. Over here. I've been trying to get Timber on that platform, and it's been really cute. Oh, thank you. Good morning. All right, so we have less meat today, so it's going to be a little bit of a quicker session. Usually, I also cut the meat pieces really small. Didn't do that today, but they're going to get a whole ass goose. Not a whole ass goose, a fourth of a goose each. Which will be Are you ready, ma'am? Sweet boy. It's the wrong person. You gotta go over there. It was always so curious. I love it. Hi. Wrong person. You go over to Lindsay. You go Let's sniff it. where you came. Awa! Awa! Here, how about I set the kibble bowls down? You can sniff it if you want. I know you get real excited. Okay. Ready? Just kibble bowls. Don't try to take it. Don't try to pee on it. 
I'm watching. She's got shifty eyes, team. Do you think she's gonna pee on it? It's, <laughs> it's just your kibble. It might smell the goose on it. Oh, maybe. It smell good? Ewa! You hungry? Come here! Good girl! Oh, this way. So Timber, I feel like I talked about this in a different Oh, stream, I dropped it, I'm sorry. But just trying to teach him something super easy and then making him feel really good for learning that, just to boost his confidence. Timber! Timber, go see Trudy, buddy. Go see Trudy. He's like, but I like it when it's easy. Timber. Go see Trudy. Good boy. He said, okay. Do you want to show him how you can get yeah. onto the platform? Buddy. Buddy. <laughs> oh, he coming. Oh boy, yeah. he coming. Good girl. Good. Thanks for coming over, dude. Stay. Good girl. Stay. Got to pull up my pinkets. Good. I'm going to help him out. Timber. Ready? Can you get up? Good. She's getting the same stuff, buddy. Good. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Oh, that fell. I got hop off. Come on. Yesterday he was coming up on his own. We'll see if that if he does it today. Can we come up? Good girl. Can you come, come up? up? Good, good girl. Good job, buddy. He got a super high value treat. Come on. Hell yeah, good job. No, you want to catch it? Oops. Nice catch. Toss a little piece off. We'll try that again. He's so good. Can we go down? Ava, down. Hey, can you come up? Can we lay down? Oh, I dropped it. I dropped it. I'm sorry. I hey, promise you're getting the same thing. Come here. Good girl. Timber. Can you come up? girl. Good. Can we go down? Good. Oh, no. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. So good. Good job, but good. I can catch this one. Oh, no. Do you want to get it? Do you want me to get it? Good girl, Awa. Let me get it. You did so good. Can you come up? Oh, no. Good girl. I'm really bad at throwing today. Do you like the liver? Right. Can I toss a little piece off? And I'll get that. Little piece liver pieces. Good girl. All right, I'm over here. Good girl. Good job, buddy. Can we lay down again? Can we lay down? Can you come up? Can you come, can you come forward? Girl. She's got two pieces got left. It. Can you come up? Oh, we. I still have quite a few. Good. Oh, good. That was a good burp. Good. Ready? Good. Yeah, can you go back there? Oh, so close. Good job, buddy. Can you come up? Here. Let's reset you. Right now, he only comes up if he's kind of by the... Good job. All done. Well, I'm oh sorry, God, I didn't mean to scare you. I was just standing up. Hey, right, buddy, can you come up? Good. Good job, buddy. She's coming. Hi, sweet girl. I'm going to go smell the kibble again. Good job. Boop. I'm just going to move around a little bit. You're about to get it, ma'am. She's like, I heard that thunk. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Here, do you want to come up? 
Yeah. Good job. Good job, more job buddy. Oh, that was, right, very that was good. my last one. I'm coming back this way, Awa. You got it all. You ate it all. All right. I'm coming this way. Go watch out. Are you getting excited about the smells? Yeah. Did you get pumped? Did Awa pee right there? No. Oh. She's about to though. Yeah, I know. Now she is. Do you want to see? Oh, so spooky. I'm sorry. Okay. I feel like the water looks fine. I'm just gonna dump it. Figured. Remember I said that was a little too close. You also gave me no warning. Sorry. Buddy. That's fair. Alright. I'm taking these. Goodbye. I love you. You want some water? Hey good dude. I know you're thirsty. You like to drink after we're done. Go kibble? I didn't even put blood on it. I forgot. Thirsty dog. Thirsty boy. Very thirsty boy. That's fair. All right, this is latched and locked. Cool. Go toss some. Oh, let me take this with this. Toss him some goose. You guys want some goose? Oh. Trying to bend down to grab you, chat, without dropping whatever I have. Girl, hey, what? Oh. It brought. Oh, I meant to get the kongs. It's all right. They're right. They're so together. <laughs> Do you save them for later? Do you she steal both of them? Do you know you're getting a goose? Is that why you're following? You excited about the goose? Guys, all your high value treats making me hungry. She looking. Shake you guys around a little bit more. Okay, twelve sixteen grams of goose is what they get. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. All right. Let's go follow. Let's go watch. Guacamole definitely high, counts as a high value treat. Hey, well, Timber! You guys want some good bits? You want this? I'll do it right here. That way it's more in the open. Yeah. Thanks for letting me know. Hey, it's I am not gluten free. Like Come I don't here. have an allergy or anything. I don't want you guys to think that I do. Whoops. And then be like, why the hell is she eating cookies? But I just try to eat as less gluten free as possible. Can go to this one. Here, Timber.
Finger is like, mm, I appreciate it, but. Ewa, what? You don't need to take both. She said, I might need to take both. I need to take both. <laughs> Timber, did she take it? Oh no. She's just right here with it. What Is do that you think? good? No, okay. Okay. <laughs> well. He's gonna go find the other one that she yeah. took over there. Timber's smart. He's, he plays the long game. Well, it was gonna pee in that spot. Cause it smells like goose. What do you think, Timber? He said, I don't want that piece either. Come here, goose. Gotta pee where she Got peed. Pee. Got pee. Do you guys see that whale eye we talked about last time? Hi, Vidi. <laughs> Go eat the goose. There you go. Sniff. What do you think? Just sniffing. No. Got some. It was got it in her mouth. Thanks for telling me. I'm always so zoned into one thing and I'm missing the important stuff. Hi. Hello. A wild abbot said hi. They smell it. Oh, I hear some crunching from Awa. <clears throat> I'm trying to get a wee bit to a better spot. Wait, okay, she said no, don't look at me. Um, the goose was donated. It is um, like a goose that comes from the grocery store. So the person who donated it, I'm not exactly oh, sure. Oh, coffee boy. Coffee boy. All right, well, it was eating it. Timber's laying in the shade. I get it, dude. He's next to it. Just chilling. Can you zoom on this thing? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah, we can. Look at that. Look at that cute boy. Oh, okay, no. You're cute. He's like, I know. I just, it's nap time. Do you not like it? He's just laying down. You left it over here. All right, on Friday, we talked a little bit about whale eye in dogs. And that's when you see the whites of their eyes. And honestly, you see that in Awa a lot. And that's usually, if you guys weren't here for that, it's usually when something in their surroundings is making them uncomfortable or just kind of uneasy or unsure. They are not confident enough to kind of face whatever that thing is head on. So they'll turn away from it, kind of not interact with it at all, but keep their eyes on it. And so it, um, you end up seeing the whites of their eyes. So, Awa was kind of whale lion right there. It's probably because I was standing with a camera right up to the fence. What's happening? Hey, Timber. I'm going to back off because Timber is also like, mm, I don't know about this. You can always tell on their foreheads. Of course, now that I'm talking about it, his not. He's not doing it, but they call them like little triangle eyes. And when they furrow their little doggy foreheads, um, like that right there, he got his little eyebrows furrowed, his little forehead furrowed. And it makes his eyes like a little bit more triangular. And that's also just like, a, I don't know, just unsure, uneasy. He's not really doing it right now. He's doing it a little bit, but Timber has strong triangular eyes when he's feeling nervous. A 
what's happening, buddy? There you go. There's that little triangle eye. Looking at Ava, he's like, what's she up to? Uh, we usually weigh what they eat so we know how much they're getting, um, especially to track how much is a good amount that we're not like underfeeding or overfeeding. Dish time. Especially with some animals that are prone to overeating. There's some animals that if they've had enough, they'll just stop eating and some animals that aren't like that. And some that individuals turkey vulture that smells like the that. goose. Dishes. Um, what progress in both Timber and Awa has been favorite to see so far? Um, honestly, them just kind of getting goofier has been my favorite to see. They've, there's times, um, well, they've let their guard down way more than when they first originally came here, but there's times where that guard comes down and they're just kind of a silly, a silly wolf dog. And... I like that. I love seeing it. Um, no, so I worked um, near where these guys came from, and I have some coworkers that are friends um, with uh, A1 Timber's previous coworkers, which is how. I found out a little bit of their history, but honestly not much. Are you taking this over to the foxes? Oh, not the entire thing, no. Okay. They don't need the, Is, all of that. Just going back in the fridge or? Yeah, it probably should. Uh, if we, unless we want to cut off like a chunk, I wouldn't give. I would like cut one of the hat like quarters and quarter for the foxes. Yeah, and half that. Oh, okay. Hold on, I gotta rinse it because it's got soap on it. You could give a chunk to the crows too. Um, it is 420, so I gotta go soon. That's fine. I just wanna rinse the soap off of this really fast. Yeah, for sure. Can't be having soapy goose. Meep, 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 meep. To the ground, Boop. because it is easier on the ground. First, might. Just gonna cut to a wee bit of cable. I'll cut this one in half for the, for the foxes. Sweet. And then I would chunk that one. This one since you did. All the other ones. Let me know if you want the scissors at all. You wash them really fast for you. Scissors. I would give a little bit more to the non drumstick side. That way they eat uh, way a little bit the same, personally. A little bit more to the, the side? Yeah, like, cause the drumstick weighs so much, I would add more. I was thinking there's more meat on this side. So I was trying to give a little bit more on this side. That's what, was, that's what I'm saying. So this way? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cause whoever gets the drumstick is gonna get the majority of the meat. Even though there's not much meat on it. It's a very slim goose. Had a lot of fat pockets, which means it didn't fly. <laughs> what was that? Said it had a lot of fat pockets, which means it was it didn't fly at all no. or really flap its wings. Yeah, I wonder where it came from. 
I'm not, I'm not sure where it came from. I had a sticker, so it was definitely like processed somewhere, but I can't tell you where. It was also like packaged, right? I will take those scissors if they are. Yeah. They are right here. Thank you. I washed them first so we could have them. give that to the foxes. I'm just not going to give them their kibble. Okay. Can you use that for your time? Because they're not going to eat. Like, if they have that, they're not going to eat their kibble. Yeah. Come on. It's one more one left. Yeah. Just going to pack at it. Hell yeah. So, I would just save that for tomorrow. Where did the bowl go? Sweet. And then this should fit with the lid now. Ah, the wings. <laughs> Just enough. Just too big. Maybe like that. Nope. I gotta, I gotta hack the wing off. Hell yeah, thank you. Well, it's just gonna live like that because it's not gonna shut. <laughs> can just live on the bottom and then where is their kibble i probably put it on in the basket I take that back and just save it for tomorrow there cool i'm gonna wash my hands guys do it goose probably yucky We've tried watermelon with our wolves. Awa, Awa took some licks and that was it. She took a few crunches. A few crunches? And I was like, she crunched there for a second. And then she decided cable is better. Do we need more counter space? We'll have counter space very soon. We finally got the um, yeah. We just the need dish the rack, yeah. So we, we just need to mount up. the dish rack. We have space. We just haven't utilized it yet. <laughs> Which is all good and dancing. I'm gonna weigh out their kibble really fast just so we can be done in here. Yeah, like done done until tonight. There's a little drop of water on the chat phone. Um, I don't know the one, uh, the wolf dog stream is going to be, I don't think we've set a date, but we will one of these days. What is it? Uh, there was a plan to just do like a stream <clears throat> on wolf dogs. Uh, since you guys love them so much and have lots of questions, oh, we decided to do one whole stream about them. That's just whenever you want to make it. Oh, this thing is being annoying. Oops. I'm gonna do 270 again. Cool. Since they ate most of it yesterday. And I don't know how much of the goose they'll eat. I'm just saying it out loud, just so. 
Yes, somebody else remembers before I write it down. <laughs> Oh, why don't we let them go inside? We would love it if they came inside. So their door is open. I can go show you guys. Um, these guys have just been a little spooked of the inside area. We aren't 100% sure of the reason why. Um, we think it looks nice and cozy, but um, they need a little bit more convincing, which we're working on. Ooh, but no, they are more than, they are encouraged to come inside. Anything for the wishlist? Not as of yet. Um, we will probably do another wishlist stream, kind of like how we did last time towards the end of the month, where we um, talk about things that we want to put on the wish list, why we want to put them on the wish list. Um, so you guys know the intentions of some of the stuff that we're putting on there. Sorry, I have to reorganize. It's not wanting to show up close. <laughs> Okay, let's write this um, down and then I'm ready. Do you want to keep chat going or do you want to end the stream? Uh, I figured they'd want to go see the boxes. I would want to too. So. All right, chat, this is where I leave you guys. I got things to go do, but I love you guys. See you tomorrow. They said, don't end us. <laughs> you can come with me and watch the foxes. Here you go. Chat phone's being weird. This corner keeps pressing the back button, making it a little, a little oh. annoying. But yeah, it got wet at one point, so all good things. Just empty the meat out of. Okay, so it is not that, it's just, it's... I don't know, it keeps, yeah. It just... It worked for a couple minutes, and then I tried to put nope, it back on. it's just gone. <laughs> and then it stopped. All right. I'm going to head out. Okay. Did you put your mic? Nope. I would have driven off without it, or with it. And that would have been weird listening to you on the way home. <laughs> I'm not a good singer, team. Until we got out of... The out of range off. happened. Oh, I'm All, sorry. Right. All right, bye. All right, you just get me now, chat. Ah! It's hard. A little bit easier. You're saying chat the phone is acting up so when I'm using so these can stay here Okay, let's go. Oh, you zoomed in. Hold on. There we go.
I wonder if she locked me. Yeah, she locked me. I'll go the other way. Going this way because we got locked in. You guys gonna eat your goose? You should eat that goose. It's right there. I hope the foxes like the goose a little bit more. Hi! I probably should have weighed the goose for the foxes. Oh well. It's the goose, it's right there. I see it. I see the goose. You should eat it. No? Okay. Guys, I always work too long. I am constantly told to go home. Don't be here as long as I am. Here, watch them while I unlock the door. Oh, itchy. That's why that tree it doesn't survive. Because you use it to itch. Okay, bye guys. I'm gonna take every time you say I sound like Maya as a compliment. Cause you all say it all the time. And I can't help it that I use a voice with the animals. They're just so cute. Moving on. Grab things. How's it going, chat? I'm a little tired. Ah! I just tripped on a stick. I just tripped. There's a stick and I tripped. Did you see that, Finn? I tripped on his stick. I bring you a goose. I'm glad you guys are feeling good. Was that stick over there? It just came out of nowhere. Hi, sweet boy. All right, I bring. I got. I bring your goose. You got goose. You want to say hi, chat? Say hi, chat. Actually, let's bring chat over. Chat can come with me. Reed! Do you want your piece of goose first? Because you're the bestest boy in the entire world. And I know you'll enjoy it more. What is it? You gonna take it? You can take it. <laughs> Here, can I help you? You wanna take it? Good job. Read. Come 
Come take it. <laughs> Here we go. We can watch both of them. Crunches. Got some good crunches going on. Is that good? Reed's over there just licking it. Oh, he left it. Foxes do pretty well with the bones. Uh, where this is bird, the bones are actually pretty small and hollow, so they're pretty fragile. So they're really easy to just break. But if it's like they're really big bones, they'll probably just work around it. You turn it over, you can eat more of it, dude. Thank you, guys. Now we're getting into it. Mr. Crunch Face. Not the crunch is going. Yeah, so small birds are actually part of their natural diet. They are pretty soft, but they actually have more of like a wiry hair. Are you done? Are you done, bud? You still, you got a whole bunch left. You gonna bury it? I gave Reed the drumstick because I figured he would appreciate it more. <laughs> okay. So it's more of a coarse hair. Like under their neck and stuff is pretty soft because that's where we've touched before, like working with them training wise. Reed, why'd you give up the good part? I gave you the drumstick because I thought you would appreciate it, and then you switched it. Oh, Finn's burying it. No, typically Reed will um back down pretty fast when Finn comes over wanting his food. Well, this is pretty anticlimactic. Do you not win it, Reed? Oh, where are you going? You took it. Well, you gave it up, now it's his. 
Sir, that's a stick. Was that stick in the way? He's burying it. Okay, well. Reed wants it as Finn buries it. <laughs> okay, well. What are you doing? You could just eat it. Well, now it's covered in dirt. This is what happens when you cover it in dirt. Yeah, you get it on you. Weirdo. And now we gotta bury it again. Buried it in a new spot. Okay, well. Moving on. Let's go see crows really fast. Give them their enrichment. Fine, I guess. I was hoping they would like it a little bit more, but I don't know if they've ever had goose. I was hoping they would like it like they do the quail, but maybe because it was already defeathered and pros and it wasn't whole. But who knows? Yeah, so I'll, I know that the, it's probably over there, but in the morning uh, when they get cleaned, since it's Trudy and I, again, they already know that they're getting it. So we'll be on the lookout for it when we get in in the morning to check on them. Clearly they're both right there. Okay. Yeah, so whatever leftover food is typically taken out in the morning so it doesn't attract bugs and stuff. It's gross. Um, any more bugs in there. So we think that might be what is bothering them. It does get pretty stinky, so whatever they don't eat tonight will be taken out tomorrow. So, so there's that. I probably won't take you in chat because you're scary, remember? But I'll leave you by the, by the door. It's all in there. Come get. Come get it. Come get it. Come get it. Yeah. You're molten. Your face is a little scraggly. Yeah, you guys scare them. We'll go get it! No, it's too scary. We'll 
Well, go get it. It's got your food. Is it cause? Is it cause the camera? Yeah, it's the camera. It's you guys. It's you guys. Are you gonna be brave, coconut? So brave. You're so brave, bud. Hi. Such a big, brave boy. It is you guys. Sorry. Coconut's being so brave. Oh, was being so brave. Such a brave boy. Good job, Coconut. You could just go get it. No. Why would I go get it? Okay, well, we tried. You could just go get it. You've had boxes like that before. It's not scary. It's not scary. Is not scary. Good boy, Coconut. Uh, nice, big boy. So brave. Uh, so brave. Uh, so they're molting right now. So they're just um, getting rid of their old feathers and turning in new ones. This is typical for this time of year. Boxes to scary guys. Okay, well, we tried. We tried. All right. Time to go. I got other things I gotta do. What time is it? Yeah, I gotta go do other things. It's not that scary, guys. They're still circling it. Been touched. Good job, Coconut! Coconut is the brave one. He went after it first. You can do it too, Abbott. Don't be nice. That was rude. He's being brave. Whatever. Abbott's trying to steal because Coconut's being brave. I see how it is. All right, well, that's everybody. We fed the down, down the hill kiddos already before we got you, chat. Because we were on a roll today. Hello. So, and you got us for an extra hour. Hi, goats. So, yeah. There's that. You'll see us again tomorrow. And the next day. But we'll have more people with us on Wednesday. But you get to Trudy and I again tomorrow. Hope you don't mind. Did you give Trudy ideas of what we wanted to do? Because I wasn't paying attention. If you did. So, oh, she's soaking. Are you pooping? Because that's pretty dirty water. I think you're pooping. What you doing? No, I think you just peed. Look at their soak. Sweet lady. She's 
just hanging out in the water. Like the cute little tort you are. All right. On that day, and on that note, bye, Smush. Look at that face. Someone clipped that face. Oh my God. You're so cute. I gotta take a photo. We gotta take a photo of this. We gotta take a photo, and then we gotta send it to everybody because it's super cute. I'm gonna stick my hand in. No, don't get out. Don't get out. Don't get out. No, she got out. She thought I had food. Dang it. I wanted to take a cute photo. And I ruined it. I ruined it because I wanted to take a cute photo. Now she's coming. Okay, well. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Time to go. Time to go inside. Yeah. Polly. Ended on Paul. And her mess she's making. There we go. Bye.